Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 8th. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid and not every reading is for you, so this reading may not be for you. Uh, yeah, so we're just going to see what comes up. What do we have for a message today? Six of Cups reverse, so nothing stays the same. Freedom from obligation, perhaps. Six of Cups reverse. Somebody's been clinging to the past, clinging to the memories, reminiscing a lot about the past. Nothing stays the same. Could be leaving the past behind with the Six of Cups reversed. Four of Cups reversed, which is seizing a new opportunity. So that is leaving, leaving the past behind seizing a new opportunity that's taking it it's in the in the in the past it wasn't wanted or something or it was being ignored now somebody is taking they are taking an opportunity that they passed up or something like that that is seizing a new opportunity taking it Knight of Wands reversed now the Knight of Wands reversed is extremely fast extremely you know that could be uh, all of a sudden it could be a sudden departure sudden arrival um, it could also be reckless behavior with the knight of wands reverse that is very impulsive extremely impulsive could be dealing with a fire sign or a water sign we have um, Aries Leo Sagittarius and Pisces Cancer Scorpio Taking an opportunity that was missed in the past, doing something impulsive. Now, this opportunity doesn't have to be about love. If this opportunity was missed in the past, now the opportunity is being taken suddenly. Ten of Swords reversed. So the Ten of Swords reversed is the straw that breaks the camel's back. This is freedom. It is liberation from something. And I'm putting it right next to the Six of Cups reversed. This is liberation, right? It's it's freedom from suffering. It is the end of suffering. Um, may or may not survive. Some, something has not survived. It's reached the end. We've already talked about this. This is acceptance. That is a sword that cuts the sword of truth, the sword of communication, of a new taking a new approach, a new idea, a thought, awakening, a wake-up call. Somebody may have gotten it some sort of went through some sort of awakening or they've gotten some information. This is the straw that breaks the camel's back. This is the truth. It hurts really, really bad. Um Leaving something behind. Ooh, the star, which is, is a card of hope, renewal, healing. Guaranteed success. Now the card... The star card is like a wish that is being granted. It's like your fairy godmother granting a, re a wish. You know, rejection is God's protection. And I know that people hear it all the time, but I'm going to say it again. This is protection. It is a card of protection underneath the six of cups reversed. The star card is wish fulfillment that is coming. Deep fulfillment is coming. Somebody's wish is about to be granted. Maybe not be in the way that they expect. This is unexpected help arriving. This comes after the tower and the tower in the deck. So there's been some sort of event. It was faded. It was a false sense of security. It was it wasn't meant to last. It wasn't stable. It wasn't solid. There was lies. There was deception. There was too much going on that was hidden. This is protection. 
now there's there's uh, there could be some unexpected help that is arriving or this is you know it's leading you to wish fulfillment this catastrophe whatever it was you know, Ten of Swords is a, is a painful ending, okay? There's been some sort of painful ending, or there is going to be one very, very soon, just being honest, okay, that leads somebody down a path to wish fulfillment, but they will be leaving something behind that, well, obviously, the Six of Cups, that's in the past, so this is nothing stays the same. Expect a change, okay? Expect a change. Um, this is, this does lead to liberation and freedom. This is actually what you asked for, but it's not in the way that you expect. There's a new opportunity that is going to be presented very, very soon, suddenly. Uh, somebody is taking a new opportunity. What is this Knight of Wands reversed? That is that is like moving very, very fast. You may have somebody here that is acting without thinking. You know, they just they're doing something very, very suddenly, rushing. Um, five of Pentacles. I wanted to clarify the Knight of Wands reversed. That is abandonment, uh, victim mentality. We have somebody here that has a victim mentality they were refusing to get help uh being led in the wrong direction by somebody that liked to have control over them i mean because this is true if somebody is leading somebody in the wrong direction when there's another opportunity it's like why don't there, there's pride that is in the way somebody has been led in the wrong direction when there's help available you know there's an, there's there's help available but They've been led by another person to believe that they shouldn't get help or they shouldn't ask for help or that they're not good enough or you won't get help or, you know, nobody will help you or you're not going to, you know, they, somebody has been led to believe that they're not good enough. Or that they don't deserve it or something like that but pride the person that is leading is very prideful very smug very cocky with the knight of wands reversed next to that five of wands five of pentacles that is cocky it's like this isn't realistic it's not practical it's not this is somebody that is very forceful that is out of control we may have somebody that is boastful that is a show-off that has a, is very smug and has a lot of pride that is refusing to you know get help or something like that or if, or you know obviously they have a big ego they're they're being led in the wrong direction they're not seeing clearly that there's there's an option right here that is being missed Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands is messages, things increasing, increasing speed. Something is going to happen. It's going to happen really, really fast. Messages may increase. Communication may increase. Things may speed up, you know, if it's not communication. Things are something, so this is like speeding. Fives are about conflict. So I, I do believe in and change. So we have somebody here that has been struggling. They have been refusing to get help. They've been in their head, their ego has been big. And now things are about to change really, really, really fast. Something is gonna happen. This is the straw that breaks the camel's back. There could be a sudden departure here. We have somebody here that is overly competitive with the Knight of Wands reversed. This person um, is out of control. Maybe a show off. We may have somebody here that is sh a show off. Knight of Wands reversed. Um, angry, maybe. There could be some messages that uh, I don't know if they get seen that causes some sort of change, it causes a conflict. But the Four of Cups reverse is seizing an opportunity that has been ignored or has been missed in the past. Taking the opportunity now. Nine 
nine of pentacles reverse underneath that five of pentacles so we have somebody here that doesn't know their value doesn't know their worth that doesn't want to be alone that doesn't feel like they can take care of themselves because they have been told that they're not worthy or they don't believe that they're worthy you know they they don't believe their worth they don't know what they're worth that's pretty darn clear this is a lack of self-worth been told that they can't take care of themselves or they can't get any help or something like that this is definitely a lack of self-worth there's a need for discipline somebody needs to find their discipline maybe to ask for help or to move in a new direction they need to replace their fear with faith the knight of wands reverse could be fearful somebody needs to you know they maybe they've they've abandoned somebody and you know they're afraid they're afraid to communicate because the knight of wands reverse is right next to the eight of wands the eight of wands is typically communication messages going back and forth but there could be some fear here fear of being abandoned fear of being left out in the cold because the five of pentacles is being left somebody is fearful they are fearful they don't know their value they don't know their worth they don't think they're good enough they feel like they they don't have enough to offer they've been told that too they have they've, they've been told that they're not good enough they've and it could even come from parents you know or from exes or whoever somebody does not know their value there is definitely a message that is coming. This is a message of conflict. This is going to bring, this is like um, a surprise. We have somebody here that is very, very curious. That is going, that is, is, I don't know if this person is making an entrance or they're doing something. They get this idea. This is a new idea. They decide to take a new approach. Um, this is the sort of communication. This is also this could also be somebody that is going to be sp speaking something very very matter of fact, very very truthful. You know, this is uh, comes out just just the way it is. You know, it is what it is. Um, so I do believe that there is some sort of message that is coming that is going to. It's a sharp message. It may hurt. It's very matter of fact. We do have somebody here that is 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 watching another person. They are about to, or they're uh, if they're not watching. They, well, that typically this is this could be like a spy or a stalker or an admirer or somebody that is that has some sort of information. Could even be a friend. Could be a child. Could be anybody. This is somebody that just speaks something that they it just comes out. Okay, they're going to speak something and. You know, it's quite factual. It's the truth. And this, I feel like this truth is, I feel like this truth hurts. I feel like this truth hurts. Um, a message is coming. It may not be what you want to hear. But whatever this message is, it is, it's like, it's like, it's a fact. Okay. We could have somebody here that is, is coming in. This person is a little bit of an age difference. Maybe. Maybe not. Um, Page of Swords delivers information. This person is delivering information. They don't, it's not, it's just, it is what it is. Take it or leave it. It's the truth though. There could also be some news of legality, legalities coming up. I also feel like we have somebody here that is has been doing some sort of research. It's almost like an investigation or something. Now, now they're taking an opportunity. They've done their research. They've done their research. That's what it is. An offer is coming. Whew. Seven of Swords. There's some sort of sneaky, shady behavior going on here. This is plotting and planning. We have somebody here that has plotted. They have, they've been hiding. They've been hiding something. And they've been getting away with it. Somebody has been getting away with something. 
Maybe they're maybe they're making an escape because because this could be an escape. Somebody could be getting out of a situation where there's been a lot of shady behavior. Maybe there's been cheating, deception, lies. You know. We may also feel we might also have somebody here that has been hoping and praying because whenever I see the star card, I think of. I think of hoping and praying. They maybe they were hoping and praying that somebody would would get caught because you know we we ha we we got this. Okay, we got this. We get the star card next to the seven of swords. Hoping and praying that somebody would get caught doing something. If that's the case, I believe that that could definitely happen. We have somebody here that. Uh, is very loud they are boastful they're there this is loud this is a loud individual maybe even obnoxious out of control that that is gonna is trying to do something deceptive they're taking an opportunity to do so they've been hoping and praying for something we also have somebody here that has been hoping and praying for a reconciliation with the past because we have the star card right underneath the six of cups reversed they've been hoping and praying for a reconciliation with the past they but some of this whoever they're hoping for a reconciliation with you know seven of swords is, is cheating it's lies and, and 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 these two are right next to each other so somebody may have been lying to themselves you know, that's that's like, I'm telling you what. You may need to wake up. And we talked about that wake up call. Um, Eight of Wands, moving forward, leaving the past behind with the Six of Cups reverse, seizing a new opportunity, going in that direction uh, suddenly. Uh, we may have somebody here that is giving up their independence as well with the knight of pentacles reversed that you know upright that is an independent person who is enjoying their life doing their own thing isn't really you know very independently owned and operated okay in reverse this could be partnering up with somebody choosing not to be single very very suddenly there is an offer of love here with that four of cups reversed there is it's you know there is an offer that is coming there I know that there is this is this is something that will bring emotional fulfillment this may be somebody that you abandoned or ignored in the past because you were hoping and praying for a reconciliation with somebody else from the past I don't know if that's the case but it looks like it anyhow this is freedom liberation nothing stays the state the same your wish is about to be somebody's wish is about to be fulfilled they're about to receive an opportunity um, or they are going to be taking another opportunity very, very suddenly. They may be, um, well, they're definitely going in a new direction. Their things are about to speed up. There is things speeding up. For some of you, there's whatever this is, it's movement with the Eight of Wands. It is movement, moving away from deception. This Eight of Wands is, is right after the Seven of Swords. Okay, so this is moving away from deception. Page of Swords reversed now and the Ace of Pentacles reversed. So this is a lost opportunity. It's letting something go. It's letting it drop away. It's throwing it away. I don't want this. No. This is a no answer. Upright, it is a yes. Reversed, it is a no. Nope. Don't want it. Don't want it. Somebody is is like, I don't I don't want to do this anymore. I feel like there could be a conflict. There could be an argument here now with the Page of Swords reverse. We have somebody here that has been, and maybe something has slipped away. Something may have already slipped away. It may be too late. The Page of Swords reverse is a message you definitely don't want to hear. We definitely have somebody here that is insecure. They are unstable. They are, they, uh... have abandoned another person gaslighted maybe 
Things are about to change really, really fast. We definitely have somebody here that has been lying. And I feel like they've been lying, whatever it is that they've been lying about, that it's about to be revealed. Because there's some, we have a troublemaker here. We definitely have a troublemaker here that is going to say something that is going, it's going to cause a change, okay? We also may have somebody here that needs help. They're not stable. They're not secure. They're all over the place. You know, this person needs help, but maybe there's help arriving. I do believe there is unexpected help arriving with that star card. An opportunity is now going to be taken. Somebody may be packing up and moving home with the Six of Cups reversed. You know, that is like packing up, leaving home. Nothing stays the same. This is this is this is this is uh, liberation with the Ten of Swords. It's freedom from a painful situation where there's been a lot of suffering. This could even be a near death experience. Healing. This is also healing from a situation. Uh, Ten of Swords is is like a death. It is, and next to it is the, the Star card, which is a healing energy. It's healing from the betrayal, healing from the ending taking a new opportunity so somebody is definitely taking an opportunity that is going to bring them wish fulfillment they ignored it in the past but they're taking it now it's still there obviously because it's still in the picture if it wasn't there it'd be gone so there's there's still something here so somebody has an opportunity to that is close to slipping away by the looks of things. It's really close. One more card. Hmm. Somebody made a poor investment. They invested in something that wasn't real. It wasn't solid. It wasn't stable. Page of Wands. Now, this is an offer or an invite, good news, a message, good positive direction. Somebody is about to receive an offer, an invite, or a message that is exciting. Okay, this is this is exciting opportunity going in a new direction. So somebody is, is about to be get some, some good news. But but with that page of swords reversed, it it uh there's been some dishonesty. We, there, somebody has been dishonest. They haven't been telling the truth. There's been some lies. They've been uh, not communicating well. They haven't been, maybe they, because they've been afraid. Um, they've been afraid. Maybe they've been afraid of commitment or afraid of giving up their independence or, or were afraid of being alone. It could go so many ways. There's definitely fear here. But the Page of Wands is a new positive direction. It is. This is exciting. So somebody's going to be receiving a new opportunity that is exciting. This does lead them in a new direction. Things are about to speed up. It is positive change. There could be a new suitor for some of you when you get the page of wands that is going to burst into your world. There's also, there could be something, you planted some seeds a long time ago and they're coming to fruition now. positive movement forward help is about to arrive whatever this help is There's a healing energy here as well. Being led, being guided in a new direction. Somebody is being guided in a new direction. They're about to receive an offer that is exciting. Take it. Whatever this offer is. This will this will help you 
uh, in many ways, especially with the Five of Pentacles, if you've been outcast or you've been abandoned or you've been left out in the cold, this is, this is uh, coming out of that. This is a turning point. Positive new direction ahead. Healing energy. Somebody could even be going to rehab when I see that Six of Cups reverse that always makes me feel like rehab. We may we may have somebody here that is doing something against the law that I feel like there could be news of legalities here. You know, they get caught, they end up I don't know if they go to rehab. I don't know who that is for. But things are about to change really, really, really fast. Um Bad news that turns into good news. This one came first. So bad news that leads to good news. It leads to a positive change in circumstances. And we do have circumstances here with the five of pentacles. We have somebody here that needs help. They, they may not be able to take care of themselves very well. Maybe they need help, and the help is arriving. So I don't, I don't know who that is for, but um, this is whoever is offering the help is very um, confident. This person is well suited. They have a lot to offer. This is somebody that is adventurous, that you know is willing to just take a chance. And maybe you need to take a chance. This is about taking a chance with that page of wands. Give it a chance. Think positive. And maybe that's why the page of swords is reversed because that could be negative thinking. Anyhow, we could go all day, but I have, I have, uh, another reading to do. So anyhow, um, leaving the past behind taking a new opportunity very, very suddenly that has been missed or ignored. Positive movement forward. Somebody's about to receive an offer or an invite that leads them down a new path. This is what they actually asked for. Don't let it slip away because of fear. Good luck. 